This report is going to explain how to create a group report using Atlas. I'm going to select a structured list report as I'd like to report my customer sales. I add my filters, which are all going to be linked or mapped specifically to an Excel cell reference. These cell references are going to be the drivers of the filters for my report. I then select my output. I'm going to customize my output so that we only view the fields that we'd like to be included in this report. The amount is going to come from X2012, so it's going to be the invoice amount in the accounting currency. I'm going to rename this column, otherwise it will be extremely wide. And lastly, I'm going to add the customer name. To do this, I'm going to link via the customer account to the customer's table. In the customer's table, I'm going to locate the name field. Now, the name field is not actually the name. I will indicate this. So I'm now going to use the join to link directly to the global address book where I can take the name. So just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to include both of these fields. As I select insert, my list report now appears. We can see that we have the two different names which appear. And you can see that the second name is actually a rec ID. And in order to produce a grouped report, all I have to do is determine the criteria by which I'd like to do the grouping, in this case, the customer name. I right click and I select group by, in this case, in this case group by the customer name. This has created a grouping node so that when I now update my report, we can see quite clearly that the, the list report is grouped based on my customer. And of course, as I change my filter, the report refreshes accordingly.